Yes, yes, come in, come in, come in. Have a seat anywhere. This is the one room in the country where we cannot be recorded. Can I take this mask off now? Oh, yeah. Do you know Avon Hertz? Avon Hertz. Yes, the Avon Hertz. Don't act all weird. I'm just a normal genius. I do very normal things like kite surf with presidents and date B-list actresses. I bleed real tears. This is real hair. I program and I have actual emotions. I'm sort of like one of those things that is good at lots of things. Why isn't this person talking? Just, uh, don't worry about it. Mr. Hertz took his first company public when he was 22 years old. Uh, 21 and three quarters. I was worth a billion five by the time I was 25. I'm trying to save the world, for fuck's sake, man, if it'll let me. Ivan was helping the IAA, the government. Helping the government? I was trying to be the government. My work with artificial intelligence. Thinking only better. That's my slogan, by the way. I was trying to guide the government through a security and ethics nightmare it had stumbled into when whoosh, I'm told, no thanks. It's a fucking joke, but I'm not laughing. Uh, Avon is worried that someone's trying to start a war. I'm not worried about it. I'm certain of it. The only problem is I just don't know who exactly. And worse, Clifford doesn't know who. Uh, Clifford, that's his supercomputer. Ah. Uh, it's a neural network of supercomputers. Clifford is a problem-solving facility. Say hello, Clifford. You're embarrassing me, Avon. I'm blushing. Give Clifford data and no more problem. Clifford was on to something, but now the data is gone. Gone? It has to be the Russians. Or the North Koreans. Or the Iranians. Or the Chinese using a proxy agents. The fact is, if we cannot figure out who is behind these data breaches, then Clifford is useless. If we can get paid, of course we can help. There are three data thefts I need you to unbreach, rebreach, broach. I'm a natural communicator. I'm a. Uh... Hey, you're getting off topic. No, this is the topic. How I've been treated. How I've been mistreated. It's an American tragedy. Kill the clever genius so that numbskulls could take cheap bribes. Yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay whatever it takes. We'll uh, need serious cash, six figures minimum. No problem. My share price is through the roof. Look, three problems, three easy enough solutions. Could you stop talking like you're giving a keynote speech, please? Do I do that? Yes. Three data thefts, 250 trillion data points in enemy hands. Three simple solutions. One. Data courier, murdered on the streets of Los Santos, bodies at the morgue. Ah, the morgue. You'll have to steal an ambulance to get in there. Old-fashioned, analog, I love it, retro. Problem two, four of these vans are beaming vast amounts of previously secure military data. You'll need cars to track them down. I have a sort of friend who has some cars you can borrow here. Okay, that sounds easy enough. What's the third? The big new server farm in Palomino has been compromised. I'm certain of it. No one believed me, and I have no idea how to prove it. But if someone could get inside... Oh, just give me a minute. I know these uh, stealth helicopters. These things. Huh? <laughs> now, uh, Avon, these all do seem a bit random. Of course they seem random, because you are not a supercomputer. Clifford will solve it for us. Just give us more data about the data so we can data it. All right, well, um, get to work and good luck. Pleasure to meet you. You look nice in that shirt, Avon. I like your hair. Thank you. Progkillclifford.exe. Okay, hood off now. See, I told you they come back. Why do you do that? <laughs> because it makes me feel tingly inside. It's enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, so... Clifford and I analyze the data. I mean, Clifford analyzed the data, and I analyze Clifford. Uh, let me give you an example of my sort of thinking. Hey, could you stop it with the keynote thing? Uh, sorry, can I make a call here? Hello? Who is this? I'm calling you from a top secret former government facility. I told you, we told you to return the civilian life, Avon. <laughs> 
It was all a setup, shortstop. Shortstop? <laughs> I always wanted to call someone that. Uh, listen, you're going to get us all killed. It's as clear as the very natural looking hair on my head. What are you talking about? They're not plugs. Don't you see that the fact that they told you to fire me proves beyond all reasonable doubt that you were wrong and this is a conspiracy? Let me give you an analogy. Why are you talking like that? It really annoyed people when you were working on site. I'm a visionary. I see things. Listen, I'm running late to a departmental potluck, so... Fuck your potluck! This is about stopping a fucking war! Not that again. Goodbye, Avon. See you on planet Earth one of these days. Potluck? Of course. Of course, it's... it's now! It's fucking now! Clifford is right, the data is clear, it's right now. The entire department is out sharing meatloaf and potato salad so their base can be permanently shut down. We have to do something now. Right, well, we are a bunch of armed felons and you're breaking all kinds of security clearances and discussing the musings of a badly named computer. No police force in the world is going to believe us. You'll have to go there and stop it right now. I'll pay. I'll pay whatever it takes. It takes a lot. All right, off we go, huh? I'll keep you posted. Come on, let's go. Uh, everything's fine. I know these people. Oh, I'm supposed to be at a potluck. Who were they? What the hell is going on? These nice people saved us. Now, we don't know each other, by the way, me and them. If you think you know me, you don't. Who do you work for? Can I get this place on lockdown right now? Come on, you imbeciles. No, there is no potluck. I don't give a shit about your banana cream pudding. Maybe next time you'll listen to me. What's this cretin doing here? Saving your life once again, but for the covert operation I financed, you'd all be dead and the country would be in the hands of, of, well, who exactly? That's the problem. This place has more leaks than a thing you dry salad in. But who and why? Can I log on to Clifford here? Sure. It's Russians. We know it's Russians. This attack is one of their signature moves. That's the whole point, Mrs. Rackman. It's meant to look like Russians. We think it's not Russians because that would be too easy. Now, Clifford says that there's a 99% probability it is some Russians. Not Iran? Iran, no. Clifford says, Clifford says it's this man. Codename Bogdan, surname unknown. Russian agitator, hitman, and war mongerer. Uh, I'm not buying any of it. Well, someone just tried to kill you, and the data footprint tracks back to him. Look. Look at the graphics. Okay. Can we get some people on this right away? Where's that buffoon? Which buffoon? The one who caused the assault by the museum. Can I get some support here? Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, thank you. Bye, both of you. A congressional medal. Big party at the Capitol. It's been an honor to serve. Oh, go fuck yourself. No, not you. Clowns, public sector clowns. The cloud, the crowd, hell, the cleaners could solve this problem. With Clifford, there is no problem now. Thank you very much. I'll be in touch. Thank this work this. Where's my assistant? I'm supposed to be giving a speech somewhere. <sighs> Where are they? Here. Uh, can I get some caffeine here? Vamos, people! You're late. If you worked for me, I'd fire you. We do work for you, and you can't afford to fire us. Very clever. We're trying to stop a global crisis, and you're quibbling about employment law. Remind me to explain why you never had a successful startup go ballistic. My god, you are annoying! <laughs> I'm very successful. I can afford to be annoying. I date. A lot. I'm a millennial. Ha! <laughs> You're 38! I'm on the cusp. Don't try to put me in a box. This guy. Bonkers. We have a real problem here. Every time Clifford looks at the data, this is not good. I told you it wasn't good. I undersold it. This is the apocalypse. The doomsday scenario. Since we uncovered the mole, we realized tip of the iceberg doesn't do it justice. Tip of the... Tip of the big iceberg! There's Russian and Chinese agents at work all over the city. The president's been informed. The president's been misinformed. 
You don't understand what I'm saying. Ah, <sighs> these fucking civil servants. Soul-crushing socialists, the lot of you. People like you hold people like me back. Okay, other than objectivism, what are we doing here? Well, sadly, I think he's right. There's a submarine off the coast. We have to find out what it's doing there. And then blow it up. No! That's exactly what they want. That's the war. Humanity's last stand. Mushroom cloud, fallout. Fifty generations of living in caves before someone reinvents fire. I need your team to get on there. That and find out what happened to the missing agent. This man. Okay. Codename ULP was kidnapped last night. He was looking into data breaches in our department and was on to something. Now he's gone. Possibly dead. He's not dead. I'm sure of that. We're gonna need an Avenger if we're ever gonna get on that submarine. There's one in a hangar at LSIA. They keep keys to the hangar in the noose vans. Well, I'm gonna need riot bands too. I've got a plan here. Then start a riot and steal one. This cannot be traced back to me. I cannot believe I said that. All that fucking ethics training. And you need to get underwater somehow, undetected. Underwater? Undetected? To find out about the security around the submarine before the assault. Okay, okay, I know, I know. Strombergs. These things. Yeah, all right, let me see if I can source a few. Got a couple here that are wrecked. Right here. So you got this? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just a little, uh, world war to prevent. In that <laughs> case, we don't need to know anymore. Let's go. All of you. Okay, just give me a minute. All right, there. That's everything. Plans there should be pretty obvious. I'll be in touch. Good luck. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait, wait, can we calm down for just one minute? For less than one minute! Look, you look very much like you have wrong end of shit. You've got stuck in the stick. You're up creek with battle of crap! Look, look! I, how you say it? I'm here to help! No, kill me all you like, but stop, listen, 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 listen. Sure, I would like to destroy America, control Russia, and destroy fabric of civilization as we know it. But these are all piping dreams. I am here to help solve real problems. You! You are real problem! You're doing dirty work for Avon Quartz and his machine, Cliffy. Oh, cigarette, cigarette. <laughs> Oi, now, listen, think about it. If you let insecure little egomaniac play God, then fake human brain he builds will be brain of insecure little egomaniac. My scientists have studied Clifford. Clifford <laughs> is asshole. The AI is an asshole. Exactly. And him and Quartz want us to kill each other. Hmm. I don't believe a word of it. Well, how do I make this up? How indeed. Well, thank you, Bogdan. Thank you, Mr. Kreft. Thank you, silent, psychotic peons, but this, this is where I say arrivederci. No, I mean, uh, get ready. I mean, this is where I'm in charge. Me and Clifford. Go fuck yourselves, losers. Yes, losers. Yes, we're in charge. Me and my dad. We're in charge. And this outdated low-tech submarine will self-destruct in 30 seconds. Scuba gear by hatch over there. I have secret escape pod. Good luck! Okay, okay, okay. Thank God you got here. Oh, that guy that's... Oh, I feel like such a fool! Oh, my whole life, I have successful people, never trusted anyone. I doubted and loathed and acted like a creep and a 
one time I decide to be nice to someone, it turns out he wants to destroy humanity! This is all your fault. My career is in ruins. Ruins! Our planet will be in ruins, you fool, if we don't do something. He has control of all your systems! We can't even call out for help. Then you can do exactly what you have to. You have my authority. And we'll get paid? Paid? Yeah, call it a pension contribution. Of course, significant ones. All right, then get this clown out of here. For all I know, you're bugged all to high hell and you don't even know the bugs exist! Good luck! Ha! <laughs> we don't need luck! <laughs> I always wanted to say that between us, we are completely fucked! Gah! Meet me back at the facility. I'll be in contact when I have a plan. Oh, good. You're here. Because if we're going to stop this little bastard and his idiotically named AI neural network from destroying humanity, we're going to need to act fast. Like shit up stick. Yes, exactly. Now that we know this little bastard is going to unleash hell, he is buying customized missile launchers, tanks, and SUVs. We need to intercept him. Oh, you where? Is that IAA agent? Kidnapped. Now he's got two of my agents. Kidnapped? Yes, the little asshole got himself trapped this morning. Where do you find these morons? You're going to have to bring him back for me. Two dead agents, no payday. How is that our business? If there are dead agents, it doesn't matter if you save the Earth from communism. Your check won't cash. Not my rules. It's to keep us from killing each other. Okay, 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 okay. Just where was he grabbed? Merriweather's got him. They're going to sell him to Avon or to the highest bidder at the port. Well, why don't we just buy him back instead? Okay, yeah. But you'll need cash. Maybe I'll put you in touch with our good friends, the FIB. They just had some funding come through. I hate the FIB! Damn Merriweather! Avon was debriefing ULP when he was kicking this off. ULP's in custody, but his secret transmitter is still live. He thinks he can steal one of their choppers to escape if we're able to protect him. Avon has the entire defense infrastructure at his fingertips. We, we would need a, a, a ballistic missile launcher to have half a chance. And I know where to get one. Oh. <laughs> okay. Like it is, you need to stop Clifford from getting hardware it requires to kill everybody. Democracy is problem. People have too many ideas in my day. Ideas, bad. Get to work. I'll be in touch. And expect the worst. He's on to us. I hacked into that door. That door is shut. You'll not open that door. You won't. Wait, this door or the one in the back? This person is very annoying. I hope he dies in the nuclear blast, Avon. <laughs> Don't worry, Clifford. Everyone will. Missile protocol initiated. Only seconds to apocalypse. Just a second. This door? You did not hack it. You never even opened it. I could hack it. Prove it. Open it. I can prove it anytime I like. No, Clifford! Voila. <laughs> You can't stop progress, you fools! I'm the future! I'm a tidal wave of tsunamis! I cannot be stopped! Clifford cannot be stopped! <laughs> Get in those silly jetpacks and chase that little snot! Uh, now, when you see the boss, can you let her know that this was all my master plan and uh, I should get a promotion? No, 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 no. We should have let you fry. <laughs> you let me fry? Oh, shut up! Mr. Crest. Mr. Crest, the government owes you a big apology. Oh, and we're also going to expunge all those charges on your record. No, not exactly. Clifford? Oh, Clifford. <laughs> it's going to be like he never existed. He'll probably be turned into call center software or uh, GPS for skateboards. Thank you. All of you. The world, the world owes you a massive favor. 
Oh, um, well, we like cash. Understood? <laughs> oh, and, uh, those were all innocent mistakes, so let's just make sure the record says that. Thank you. There will be no record. Fourteen? Mrs. Rackman? You brought Avon Hertz into the government. And these guys. And these guys. If I can, I will fire you. I'm protected class. Yes. Moronic. Now all of you get out of here. Let's all pretend this never happened. Mr. Crest, we'll send you the money. Thank you. <laughs> well, that is just about enough apocalypse excitement for me. And here I was, thinking I could indulge in a little light larceny, you know? I gotta go lie down someplace quiet and think about happy thoughts and simpler times. You know, back when I only had to worry about feeling lonely because girls didn't like me, you know, like, uh, <laughs> even though I hated it at the time, I actually really miss high school. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that, but, but I do. Well, this has been uh, horrifying, really, really horrifying, but uh, also pretty fun. So, bye-bye. <laughs>